I'm Sylvia, and I got one more thing. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to transplant your citron. A citron is an original lemon. That's what lemons used to be before we had all these hybrids. The citron is known to be thousands of years old. To keep it pure, you keep it, don't uh, uh, crossbreed it or anything like that so that it stays pure. The citron is used in the Feast of Sukkot, which is the Feast of Tabernacle. Here are the things that you will need in order to replant your citron tree. First, you'll need some peat gravel. Those are small rocks. Some sand, citrus or cactus soil. It says citrus palm or cactus palm or citrus soil. Some cloth, this is a cloth that is a weed barrier cloth and it's for the purpose of keeping weeds out of your garden. Or you can use coffee filters and the pot that you're gonna transport it in. I also sometimes use these plastic bags for my pot. These plastic bags are very convenient. <clears throat> Thank you, Maverick. <clears throat> Sit. Sit. Good boy, stay. So now you get your pot and you're going to put at the bottom of it the coffee filters or the cloth, the weed bearing cloth. On top of that, you're going to put about an inch, an inch and a half of dirt, of gravel. On top of that, you're going to put about an inch to two inches of sand. And on top of that, you're going to put your good, healthy dirt, uh, the cactus soil. So here's the plant that we're going to transplant, and here's the extra soil that I'll need. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to compress my dirt. And compressing the dirt means that you'll have less, uh, the water will compress the dirt, but I want to compress it ahead of time because that will make the uh when they'll make the top level of the soil to not go too far down if you don't compress it you'll end up with the plant an inch or two below the top of the uh the top of the uh, pot so here we go <clears throat> here we go all right all right so i've compressed my dirt and now i'm going to Put this plant in here. Go away, bugs. Okay, so I'm removing my bag. <clears throat> This is the good part of why you put sand and dirt, sand and rock at the bottom of your planter or your bag is because that will allow all this root to, ro uh, to uh, move freely. So now you get this and you're going to say, okay, so I want this level here, the root knot, to be equal to the top of the plant. So I want my finished product to be right about there. So what I have to do is add some more dirt. So here we go. I've got more dirt there. Okay, that looks about right. Look at that. That's about equal to the top. There we go. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to fill it up with dirt with the good soil. And I'm going to move that soil around the edge where it, where it doesn't have soil. So I've compressed the soil down like so. And I put the soil inside the edges. And what this did is it 
when you water the plant, the soil will naturally compress and you want your finished product to be approximately equal to the top of this pot. Now, can you see the knot? This is where the root begins. That knot right there needs to be out of the ground. And the reason that I have a few little bitty roots above it is because there was dirt above it. Remove those roots so that there's no roots system above that knot right there. Let me see if I can show you the knot better. Okay, can you see the knot? Right there. So you don't want any dirt covering that knot. Here are citrons, and they are all of these in the, these white bags are uh, a year and a half old. These are a year and a half old over here. And those over there are anywhere from uh, two and a half years old to three and a half years old. <clears throat> May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord shine his face upon us and grant us peace. And dear Lord, help our citron plants to grow well. Amen, amen.